you know there's a problem when there's something called a juggernaut. Fortunately, I have the skills to deal with this. Even if I don't have the health. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the new little intro I've gotten for this series. A friend of mine named Chris Warren and he made it for, for me. You can find it at uh, MediaChris.com, or at least you can find him. Uh, I'm probably going to be using it from now on for anything that's uh, directly contributing to my uh, massively multiplayer online gaming anthropology series, where uh, today I'm probably I'm going to try to go through the sort of stuff that I intend to uh, handle uh, in the series rather than just simply events in World of Warcraft and articles and stuff like that. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to do is address papers and stuff uh, uh, related specifically to virtual worlds and massively online multiplayer gaming that are in the spheres of academia, and that means uh, reviews and uh, peer-reviewed peer -reviewed journals and etc., which I have access to some, and I figure that every week or every other week or so, maybe I'll pick one and then present it. And since I'm not really that much of an academic uh, anthropologist, I've been mostly a cultural anthropologist, and I study uh, with some classical training, which means that I can dumb it, I can interpret uh, and dumb down a lot of what's going to appear in a lot of these papers and probably present it in a more modern context. Since a lot of the papers I'm going to start with are probably going to be from the early 2000s, and we're already in the very early 2010s, so some of the stuff that I've read is decades old. So, first thing I'm going to do is present a foreground foundation of what I learned from and what I saw coming out in the early 2000s, and now see if I can't find any journal articles that are more modern. Although there are some distinct events, uh, such as the World of Warcraft trolling event when the Serenity Now um, funeral was attacked on a World of Warcraft server, I'd like to go over the interesting implications of the Blood Plague from World of Warcraft and other stuff like that, but I'd also like to examine new burgeoning uh, industry that's bringing in tons of players, which is the free-to-play multiplayer uh, massively multiplayer online gaming market, which involves lots of people from multiple cultures. Although primarily I'm going to have to be focused on American culture because I'm in the States and that's what I'm much more familiar with and that's anyone that I'm going to speak of. Also, I'd like to uh, present YouTubers who use footage uh, from massively multiplayer online games uh, is as part of their presentation on YouTube and the way that they interact with their community back in the multiplayer game and here on YouTube, like a sort of collision sort of thing. Uh, the second thing is I wanted to present what sort of equipment that I'm using to to do all this, which uh, which includes software, computer, that sort of thing. But I wanted to start with the sort of stuff that I take with me to Mill Avenue when I when I was doing my original thesis on the itinerant culture on uh, Mill Avenue, which is well. First and foremost, cell phone is uh, one of the most important pieces of equipment that I've ever had. You know, being able to contact people. Second, a voice recorder. I couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere without this sort of thing since I was interviewing people left and right. And unlike on the computer where I can just hit a record button and actually, you know, capture everything that was said or done on screen, in real life I'm not so lucky. Uh, one of the other things that's missing uh, that I'm not going to be able to show you that I carried along with this all the time was my camera, which a friend of mine is borrowing right now, interestingly enough, so that he can do Let's Plays of uh, video games, which is one of the things that I intend to present as, in its anthropological context. Next thing is, no anthropologist should ever go without their notebook. And uh, interestingly enough, I don't have a pen with me to show off to you since it's still in my pocket and I'm not reaching down there right now. The uh, Having a notebook is probably one of the most important things I've ever had, even more so than my voice recorder, primarily because I generate a lot of notes, and I, I speak to a lot of people when I'm out, 
And interestingly enough, I've got this thing next to my computer while I'm online. I know that I've got another machine right behind me that I can use to take down information and stuff like that, but I end up discovering myself jotting things down in this book all the time. And furthermore, it gives me a tangible effect of all of my notes and data when I need to go back to it later. Finally, on to uh, the video gaming aspect. You might have noticed recently that the video, the audio quality of me talking over video games changed a little bit. And that's because I got myself a new headset. My previous headset is a Logitech and it's falling apart. Oh, this is a... Don't you just love the way that wires automatically tangle themselves whenever you put something down? This is a stupidly expensive, but I got it for cheap, headset uh, from the uh, uh, Tekiris, um set. It's uh, part of the whole you know, Razer um, set of stuff. It's actually a very decent headset, and this is what I'm using to speak to people when I'm actually on games and etc. My video, my webcam is, of course, a beautiful little Logitech webcam. It's the one that's shaped like a lozenge. It cost about $70 or so. I've got this annoyingly bright uh, three the stage lamp hiding over there so that I don't like look like the shadow with this backlight because I'm doing this during the day. And, of uh, well, I've got two computers, but you don't really need that. My video capture software that I'm using is Fraps, which is brilliant. It works excellently on this machine. It captures pretty much everything that I needed to. And while ordinarily I'd be editing with Sony's Vegas uh, HD movie studio platform, for some reason it stopped working. And while I bought it from them for about $100, I can't activate it, and their, well, their terrible customer service, I mean, aka technical support, hasn't gotten back to me in about a week on how I can actually get it working. So I'm potentially on the verge of just returning that damn thing and asking for my money back. Instead, I shelled out $50 for Adobe's Premiere Elements, which seems to do almost everything uh, nearly exactly the same. Uh, I haven't used it to any extent yet. I'm going to use it for the first time here to see if I can actually make the damn thing work. So if this edits together well, then I'm using Adobe's Premiere Elements pretty well. And that's just to help produce my videos and etc. When it comes down to collating uh, evidence and data, uh, you know, you can't really do without a word processor and some spreadsheet like Excel if you do tons and tons of survey work and that sort of thing. And of course, it's all about bringing this all together into a finalized product. And so all of these elements come together with your brain, if you happen to be an anthropologist, plus, you know, everything that you've recorded from interviews, from surveys, possibly insights from other people's work. And then, of course, there's finally this presentation, which is just getting in front of the camera and talking a lot. Uh, hopefully I'm getting better at that. It's, uh, you know, it's been a, a learning process, but uh, you can expect a lot more coming out of this now that I've got more of this equipment put together. It's more of the software that I didn't have previously than anything else. And I'm going to start trying to get a hold of other YouTubers to see the way that they present themselves and the way that they approach online gaming to see if I can develop some sort of a uh, community-centric approach to looking at how massively multiplayer online games change the fabric of interaction online. And I'll try to make that more of a segment, especially I want to present people to people who do this and then bring it to YouTube because... Here we are already on YouTube. You're already here, which means that you jaunting you off to another YouTube uh, user uh, to get you more in tune with the way that people approach multiplayer games and uh, will give you a broader horizon, at least. And, um, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Good night and uh, good dreams.